very much. Uh, needless to say, you know, this is this is difficult for me for a number of reasons. But uh, and uh, and it, people who have been around me for the last couple of years know that uh, you know public speaking isn't one of my favorite things. But uh, you know, I do the best I can. But to combine it with this event makes it even more difficult for me. Um, you know, I, I I do have to say a couple of things, and I'll try not to take too much time, but. And, and the last 48 hours, and that's all it's been, it's been 48 hours since I found out there was going to be a change. I've gone through a, a roller coaster of emotions, and you can, you can imagine what those are. It's, you know, apprehension, excitement, you know, wondering what's happening. Uh, but, you know, the more I think about it, the more I realize really how, how, how lucky and, uh, I've been and how grateful I am. <clears throat> you know, grateful because, uh, you know, about five years ago, uh, I had the chance... To, to compete for this job. And there are so many people I need to thank, and, and, and a couple are here. Uh, of course, I have to thank Sheriff Baca. You know, he gave me the opportunity to take this command. Uh, the city of Palmdale and uh, Mr. Williams was on one of my interview boards, along with Bob Toon and Carol Seidel. They gave me a chance. Uh, Supervisor Antonovich's office, Norm, as he mentioned, he interviewed me. They gave me the chance. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. But there are so many things I'm grateful for, and a couple have already been mentioned, and I'll try not to uh, you know, take too much time, but I'm grateful that I got to be here for this new station. You know, the station, is, as Chief Tyler mentioned, that, that receives such wonderful recognition worldwide, but the station in which we in this community all have the bravest, most compassionate, hardest working deputies, hardest working people in the world. They are the best, and that's the deputies, mm -hmm. The professional staff in the building, the volunteers, the explorers, the reserves, they are the best. And this community should feel very safe and very proud. Uh, everybody in that station is an integral part of that. If any part of that station breaks down, it all breaks down. And they all run like a fine-tuned machine. It is a wonderful place to work. And they're the best. Um, you know, I'm grateful because, uh, uh, you know, we've, been, we've done very well with public safety, uh, as has come out recently. Uh, we've been very lucky. We've brought the crime rate down five straight years, and that's uh, that's something to be very proud of. Uh, I'm grateful the support that we get from from the city of Palmdale. They have been so supportive. Uh, council, uh, Mr. Williams, they've provided us with uh, increases in personnel each year. They've given us the money for technical advances, such as the license plate recognition, the portable fingerprint scanners, um, the T3s that you see at the mall. These are, Palmdale is not afraid to let everybody know that public safety is a priority. The County of Los Angeles, Supervisor Antonovich's office has given us, of course, more personnel for the county area. They've given us funding for special programs, crime fighting things, especially the summer crime fighting things. Uh, they've been extremely supportive and I can, I can often turn to Norm and he comes through. He's, he's just been the best. And, and for that, I'm grateful because I got to know Norm. He's been just absolutely wonderful for us. And, and representing Supervisor Antonovich, we couldn't ask for more. Um, and I have to mention, obviously, I, I'm grateful to our sheriff. He has come through with his promises. He's increased the staffing in this valley. He's created the crime fighting initiative that's having so much success, led by Bob Denham, against the gangs in this valley. And the sheriff. Uh, He's just, uh, he's also taught me the, the importance of uh, intervention as well as suppression. Those are all important things, and, and I'm grateful that I got to see him in action and, and utilizing some of his ideas up here. Um, but one of the things, uh, one of the final things, and second to the last, that I'm most grateful for is, is the, uh, the priority that all these entities have put in selecting Bob is the, is the new captain here. Bob is going to give you just outstanding leadership. It, this, the selection of Bob Denham shows the commitment that this, this city, the county, and Sheriff Baca has to this valley. The selection of Bob Denham is just outstanding for everybody around here. You guys are going to be in such great shape. But uh, the thing that I'm most grateful for, and, and I think uh, it's real hard to say, is all the friends. Uh, I have, and uh, I'll miss you all.
So the stage is set. You're going to be a tough act to follow. Uh, and you're going to give Bobby uh, a lot to keep up with. But I got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's a bittersweet day. Again, we have a great relationship, and we're going to miss John Witt. But we're here to also announce Bobby Denham, our new guy. I'm very excited about this because Bobby is one of us, meaning a resident for 23 years. This guy comes from our community. I uh, first met Bobby when he was uh, an officer, un not unlike these officers standing in the back, working uh, Palmdale. I give Bobby credit for the PAC program, the development of the PAC program. Now, he would probably argue with that, but I'm going to give that to Bobby because uh, that was something he preached, connection with the residents that the Sheriff's Department serves, developing a partnership where everybody has something to contribute to public safety. Engaging our residents at the neighborhood level is so important to our success, and I believe it is the key to our uh, crime rate success. Those stats speak for themselves, and it's really doing everything we can to support our sheriff deputies. I think the civilian side of our, our program here in Palmdale is, is most important, I think, to supporting our deputies, allowing them to do what they're trained to do, chase the bad guys. That's what they want to do. And we can uh, relieve them of some of the burden of whether it's report writing or, or some of the more mundane uh, parts of their duties. If we can relieve that as civilians, as residents, so be it. We need to do as much as possible in that effort. And I know years ago that we, uh, we focused on that as part of Bobby's con contribution to our efforts to date. Again, the numbers speak for themselves. And we can go back to uh, the early 90s. Our crime rate per 10,000 is almost in half. Well, it's 41% drop. <laughs> that is awesome. Now, that's everybody's credit. Our deputies, Captain Witt, certainly Bobby Denham as well. Again, I'll give him a lot of credit on this pack. Here we are today, fast forward, Partners for Better Palmdale. What it means is we're taking our partnership with our residents and our city and our sheriff's department to a whole different level. And to be able to take, again, the civilianized side of this and bring support for our deputies. And when you look at our city today, we have, our city's been quartered up. Well, we have community service officers out there working accompanied by a deputy, what we call a town, a town deputy or a sheriff that would be from our, our community that, that patrols that, that section of our city, meaning they get to know the players. They get to know the positive contributors and the negative contributors in a way that brings detail to our ability to respond to make crime. Again, it is our number one priority. So Bobby Denham now gets to head up this new effort, Partners for a Better Palmdale. We're uh, really partnering well with our, with our residents, and I think, again, that's the key. Uh, having good support for the efforts, again, uh, is, is critical, I think, to success. And enjoying what you do, very critical to success. I see our deputies. Uh, we have some dedicated individuals, and I can't thank you enough for your, for your work. Well, today we have a, a new captain we're bringing on board. His success is going to be, well, determined, again, on your commitment to our city. I have no doubt that uh, your performance will be stellar, as it has been. I think the best may be yet to come, though. Again, Partners for a Better Palmdale, unprecedented outreach and depth in, in partnering from, uh, again, residents to nonprofits to for-profits to the chambers to every stakeholder we can imagine. We're engaging. And Bobby gets to now bring the kind of the glue to bring this and bind it together.